we've got this idea that when I post a picture and then comment with more pictures that people don't look at the comments so I wanted to communicate this one it's a video here we go the phenomenon of UFOs does exist and it must be treated seriously Mikhail Gorbachev I found this on the internet and so um, in my usual mental mode uh, I looked at it and I thought hmm first impression is and reaction is wow they must exist because Mikhail Gorbachev said it my second deeper reaction is because I'm very careful I've seen UFOs I believe in UFOs because I've seen them and crop circles happening and I've stood in a crop circle and I've spent about the last more than 40 years of my life investigating and I've been fooled many times by fakers and uh, I've learned to be very careful. I don't need to believe everything to know they exist. I've seen them, so I know they exist. But I also know there's a lot of deception. And so first of all, here, thirdly, the phenomenon of UFOs does exist and it must be treated seriously. Mikhail Gorbachev. Did he say that? Because this is an image with this statement here and his name. In order to know if he really said that, we would have to look at a good, at least a dozen sources, and uh, three or four of those sources should actually be governmental, state, or official, or what you would say commonly accepted. Otherwise, uh, if there's no evidence that Mikhail Gorbachev actually said this, who says he said that, and who did he say it to, and when did he say it? <coughs> so, might not be true. So there you go. You read these things, you look at these things. The other day I was looking, a guy showing a photo from 2014 of Jupiter uh, in NASA, uh, from NASA, and one in 2017. And the cloud formations and the shapes of the little trails of the clouds of the storms and stuff in the atmosphere were exactly the same. And so it was the same picture, just retouched. So the fellow who made the video was saying, look, they've just used the 2014 picture and retouched it to show as if there's some difference. What are they hiding? The thing is, you don't know if the photo that was put in the video by the person who made the video was both 2014 photos. But do you know that NASA actually put a 2014 photo up as their 2017 version? You'd have to go to the NASA website and corroborate that the two photos the guy claims in the video were posted between 2014 and 2017 were actually posted because he might just be lying and this pay, this Gorbachev statement here might also be lying I don't know it might be true have to research it which I'm about to do in the meantime I made this image here can't see it sorry this image which says Hitler uh, survived the Second World War and uh, came to Russia and revealed various secrets to us, Mikhail Gorbachev. So what I did was I blacked out this and uh, I rewrote another message here. I did the same again here. What was this one? Yes, we did have contact with aliens in 1968. Blah, blah, blah. Mikhail Gorbachev, yeah. And so it's very easy to make an image like this and spread it around on the internet. Which is, I was watching this video by Dr. Stephen Greer, <laughs> which is a disclosure about UFOs and stuff, and it basically uses a lot of suggestive stuff like this, which if you don't really study, you probably find out half of it isn't true or is completely uncorroborated. So the point is to be careful of what you read and see and put together without researching it because it's really really easy to condition the reactions and start revolutions and start off whole trendings and people do it for business marketing people do it for political reasons people do it for brainwashing reasons social reasons all sorts of reasons just to mess you up or to make money by making ridiculous statements and so you have to be very careful about the media you receive on the internet that's me done, John Spencer, signing off.